Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm your instructor, Jim Pytel. In this short application exercise, we'll learn to configure the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive for three-wire control and a reversing operation. This lecture is predicated on the assumption the viewer has watched the Configuring the Motor Drive multifunction inputs featuring the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive lecture available at the Big Bad Tech channel. If you haven't watched this lecture yet or only dimly recall its contents, please take the time to do so now. Additionally, since we'll be dealing with this particular manufacturer's parameter programming process and navigation within it, it may help to download the associated datasheet and or user manual. In the previous application example featuring the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive, recall we configured the drive for a proper sourcing arrangement by placing a shorting bar between terminals PSC and SC. Please do not forget this important step. Additionally, recall we hardwired a normally open maintain contact selector switch as input 1, a normally closed momentary contact red push button as input 2, a normally open momentary contact green push button as input 3, and a normally open momentary contact yellow push button as input 4. Given we've already wired this input up, we could probably blaze through this lecture simply by reprogramming the input to perform different functions. Note this simple functional reassignment really highlights the utility of motor drives. A couple of simple taps on the keypad allow completely new functionality without the time-consuming necessity of rewiring it. Additionally, the previous application's exercise examined only two of the numerous functions available, namely 00 forward and 01 reverse. Recall that forward and reverse act similar to a two-wire circuit in that the motor is energized in the direction of choice only when that particular input is actively being asserted. Anytime the controlling input opens, the motor begins the deceleration period. A two-wire circuit therefore requires continuous assertion of the controlling input for continuous operation. Let's expand our repertoire by assigning other functions to the multifunction inputs. Let's start by taking a look at three-wire control functions. Recall that a three-wire control circuit makes use of a holding, latching, seal-in, or memory circuit that maintains or remembers the last asserted state. An operator can press and release a button to start a continuous process without the necessity of maintaining constant closure of the controlling input. To halt the process, an operator can press and release stop. The Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive offers two related three-wire functions, 2-0 STA, three-wire start, and 2-1 STP, three-wire stop. The timing diagram of the three-wire start and stop functions show that they are both edge triggered. Note that a rising or positive edge at the three-wire start input initiates the acceleration period and a falling or negative edge at the three-wire stop input initiates the deceleration period. Between assertion of the start and stop, the motor drive will maintain the run state. If stop is continuously asserted, it will override receipt of the start command. Let's configure this drive to operate in this fashion. Let's assign input 2, the normally closed momentary contact red push button, the three-wire stop function, and input 3, the normally open momentary contact green push button, the three-wire start function. Navigate to communication parameter C001, multifunction input 1 selection. Press mode. Let's leave it in 255, the unassigned state. Navigate to communication parameter C002, multifunction input 2 selection. Press mode. Decrement this to 2-1, three-wire stop, and press enter to save it. Navigate to communication parameter C003, multifunction input 3 selection, press mode. Decrement this to 2-0, three-wire start, and press enter to save it. Navigate to communication parameter C004, multifunction input 4 selection, press mode. Let's leave it in 255, the unassigned state. This motor drive has now been programmed to recognize input 2 as a 3-wire stop and input 3 as a 3-wire start. Now that the inputs have been properly assigned, we now need to hand off control from the digital operator group to the multifunction input terminals. Navigate to extended function parameter A002, run command selection, select mode. Decrement to 01, the multifunction input terminals, then select enter to save it. Note we assign proper functions to the desired inputs first prior to handing off operation to the multifunction input terminals. Performing this sequence out of order could have disastrous consequences 
given an input might have a pre-assigned default function incompatible with the present configuration and application. Let's put this circuit to the test. Given the frequency adjustment knob in the digital operator group is pegged fully clockwise, when an operator presses and releases the start button on input 3, the motor drive increases applied voltage and excitation frequency. The motor accelerates and speed stabilizes. Despite the operator having released the start button, the three-wire start function maintains the last asserted state and continues to operate in constant speed mode. When an operator presses and releases stop on input 2, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency. The motor decelerates and turns off. If an operator presses and releases start, and then presses and releases stop prior to completion of the acceleration period, the motor drive overrides the ongoing acceleration and initiates deceleration. Again, without the necessity of rewiring this drive, we've fundamentally changed the behavior of this system from one that does not maintain the last asserted state to one that does. Let's see if we can add additional functionality to this system using another one of the available functions. Let's keep input 2 as our 3-wire stop, and input 3 as our 3-wire start, and assign input 1, the one with a normally open maintain contact selector switch, as function 2-2, two -two, the 3-wire forward reverse selection. Note the inputs performing the 3-wire start and stop function still initiate and halt the process under direction, only this time the motor drive can assume either forward or reverse mode. Let's program this drive to see this application in action. Navigate to communication parameter C001, multifunction input 1 selection. Press mode. Decrement this to 2-2, three-wire forward reverse selection, and press enter to save it. Given the selector switch is in the center deactivated position, forward mode is asserted. As we'd expect, when an operator presses and releases the start button on input 3, the motor drive increases applied voltage and excitation frequency in the forward direction. The three-wire start function maintains the last asserted state and continues to operate in constant speed mode. When an operator presses and releases stop on input 2, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency, and the motor decelerates and turns off. When the selector switch is toggled into the activated closed position, reverse mode is asserted. As we'd expect, when an operator presses and releases the start button on input 3, the motor drive increases applied voltage and excitation frequency. The three-wire start function maintains the last asserted state and continues to operate in constant speed mode, only this time in reverse. When an operator presses and releases stop on input 2, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency. The motor decelerates and turns off. If an operator started the process in forward mode, and gave it time to reach constant speed, and then toggled it into reverse mode, note the motor drive first initiates a deceleration process, then initiates a subsequent acceleration in the reverse direction. Again, this is a deceleration in one direction, followed by an acceleration in the reverse direction, and not a jarring plugging action characterized by instantaneous reversal. If an operator allowed enough time to reach constant speed in reverse mode, then toggled back to forward mode, note the motor drive initiates a deceleration process, then initiates a subsequent acceleration in forward direction. As we'd expect, every time the three-wire forward reverse selection toggles, the mode changes. The only way to stop this motor, as we'd expect, is to press and release stop on input 2. Regardless of the present mode, the motor drive decreases applied voltage and excitation frequency. The motor decelerates and turns off. A timing diagram of the three-wire stop and start incorporating a forward reverse selection looks like this. When in forward mode, a start command initiates the acceleration ramp up in the forward direction and a stop command initiates a deceleration. Similarly. When in reverse mode, a start command initiates the acceleration ramp up in the reverse direction, and a stop command initiates a deceleration. Toggling between forward and reverse after receipt of a start initiates a deceleration of subsequent acceleration in the opposite direction until an operator issues a stop command. Again, the three-wire control function differs from a two-wire control function in that it remembers the last asserted state. All right, that's about it for this quick applications exercise. Again, in the interest of expediency, we've only explored a fraction of the numerous available functions for the customizable inputs. 
given the range and possibilities available to us, I'd hate for the larger points of this lecture to get lost in the noise. We'll examine other functions in later follow-on lectures, making use of this exact same four input setup. In conclusion, we learned to program remote inputs on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive to perform the three-wire stop, three-wire start, and three-wire forward reverse selection functions. Remember to review these concepts as often as you need to really drive it home. Imagine how well lab will go if you know what you're doing. Thank you very much for your attention and interest, and we'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell your lazy lab partner about this resource, and be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates. Thank <laughs> you.